I literally would not be here if it wasn't for you. This is a moment Michelle Yoder and her doctors didn't know if they would ever see. It is the most rewarding part of my job to see people walk back into the hospital. Dr. She Carol Freiberger was an integral part of the team at St. Luke's who Yoder says saved her life during her near-death battle with COVID-19. On September 12th, they actually called my sister in and told me to say her goodbyes. There was nothing more they could do. You just kept, kept getting worse and worse and this was the only thing that was going to save your life. Yeah. Despite a bleak prognosis, a last resort effort was made with an ECMO machine like this one. It acts as artificial lungs, oxygenating the blood and pumping it back into the body. It's the waiting game. After waiting nearly two months, success. Now, a year after she was first admitted to the hospital, Hi. Yoder is thanking the people who kept her alive. I would not be here if it wasn't for every single person that had a hand. And any course of my treatment at any given time. And then that was the part that was in your blood vessel. Yoder was That's unvaccinated when she got COVID. I was afraid. I have an autoimmune disease that affects my lungs and I didn't know how it would affect me. But now she's urging others to use her story as a warning. I would just recommend everyone to really, really look within yourselves and, and understand the importance of it.